Hello my friends, welcome to my backyard. Here I have the display S3 Pro and I'm using it to turn on my Christmas lights. Hello my friends, I have a few new boards from Lilygo and they are quite interesting but I decided to show you this device first. This is just a second. This is a T Display S3 Pro. After T Display S3, this is my last uh, useless project for this board. I used uh, this board most in last two years on my channel you can find many videos featuring this board so please feel free to take a look and please subscribe in this video i will present you this cool esp32 device and i will also show you how to set up and use it with arduino ID. It is very simple and of course I will share with you this sketch. I think this is really cool sketch and I spent many hours to make it good looking so I hope you will find usage for this design and, and I hope this will be useful to you project itself is really simple here I have time which is set by NTP server I have a values of my battery and USB power sensors some Wi-Fi data I can set brightness of the screen this screen is really bright it's really hard to record it with camera on max brightness and using these two on off buttons I can control I control uh, another yes uh, T display s3 which is outside and which have relay module attached to it so I can turn on and off Christmas lights or normal lights I will also compare this device with uh, T display S3. So we will see why this is Pro version and why this is a simpler, not Pro version. It will be interesting video. So stay tuned and don't forget forget to subscribe. And if you want to support my work, you can always buy me coffee. Links in description. Also, if you like this device affiliate link is in the description so please buy it using my link as you probably know uh, my goal is to become uh, rich and to buy a car thank you as I said uh, I I received a few more little go boards but this was easiest to use so I decided to show you this first I know I also liked this design so let's compare it to T display S3 first difference is of course this display T display S3 or we can see it here have a resolution of 320 by 170 and this screen is much larger it is uh, 480 by 222 also difference is that pro version have touch screen yes there is also version of the display s3 with touch screen but I never like it I don't know why you can also notice that when uh, T-Display S3 is in its own case 
T-Display Pro is not much larger, but screen is definitely much larger. Next important difference is that now we have built-in battery which is 470 milliamp hours battery for the first time I have board made by Lily Go with built-in battery next there is also battery charger IC which is uh, or we can call it power management chip which is a great improvement because now we can communicate communicate with that chip and I can for example now I can see value of my battery and if I connect USB port I can see that my USB voltage is 5 and 20 and my battery is current, currently recharging. Next difference is now we have here our light sensor and proximity sensor. So you can see here how values change as I move my finger close to screen also there is home button right now I'm not using it but in my code there is function so you can modify it and use you can modify it for your needs we have SD card slot and also I forgot to mention that we have on-off switch I waited for this <laughs> so long simple on-off switch which will turn on my board no sorry right now board is connected to my 5 in order to set built-in real-time clock soon clock is set uh, board will disconnect from Wi-Fi in order to, to save battery power connectivity and this is interesting instead one I don't know name I think this is Stema connector instead one connector for I square C modules now we have two two connectors but using this on breadboard is not that easy it is possible you will need to to open this case to remove these parts solder these pins and put it on breadboard while the display S3 is very breadboard friendly but uh, I recommend using this board for for examples like this right now I'm using it for remote remote control or from to or to display display some values sometimes we don't need external GPIO sometimes we just want to control other ESP32 which is using uh, control another ESP32 using Wi-Fi Bluetooth or uh, ESP now so in this case this is just simple controller which works great and I love it and of course important difference is price while T display S3 is current price is around 15 dollars T 
the Display S3 Pro is $37 and there is even even uh, more expensive model with camera I don't have, I have basic model so that is expected but these are practic practically different devices only thing they have in common is ESP32 S3 and name and as I promise I will show you how to install this uh, it is very simple it is practically same method like T-Display S3 uh, we are using TFT SPI library you will go to github repository of board you will download everything and in this folder you will get this and in this folder you will go into lib folder libraries and you will copy all these folders from lib folder to to your Arduino libraries folder and that's it very simple thank you for your time I hope you like this video you like this device we have new members in T display family and that's great and Liligo finally have board which will fit in my pocket because battery and on off switch uh, links are in, in description don't forget to check them out and please tell me what you think is this piece of junk or is this useful